In the early 1900s, this two mile long driveway was a time machine that led to a better world. It was a period in our history when black Americans were still being lynched, but many found comfort and kindness at an old plantation called the Hope House. Living at the end of the long driveway, they created their own integrated world in a time of deep segregation. A wealthy white lady named Ruth Starr Rose lived here. Rose was a prolific painter, but throughout her life, her work was rejected, not because of her talent, but because of the people she chose to paint. Oh, she had tremendous rejection, but she seemed blind to it. While many artists were portraying African-Americans in a racist light, Rose was capturing something else. Her work showed a different side of black culture, one of dignity and respect. Many people didn't understand. She was censored. She was censored by bigots. Barbara Peka has been collecting Rose's work for more than a decade. Her collection is now on display at the Waterfowl Building in Easton, Maryland. You know, these are people who, by their expressions, they know where they come from, and they're proud of that. Some of the visitors here are related to the people on the walls. Oh, her work is just beautiful. It gives us a glimpse into what our family and our ancestors' lives were like, which is very comforting. Many of Rose's past subjects are buried in a cemetery near her old plantation. Rose died in 1965, and her ashes were scattered in the Miles River. Her old art studio is nearby. She was ahead of her time. She was light years ahead of her time. For a white person, she was ahead of her time. <laughs> That's how I would see it. <laughs> Perhaps no painting illustrates Rose's heart more than this piece she did in 1930. In the background, black people are on the left and white people are on the right, living a segregated life. But if you look closely, Rose shows us the future. Yes, she's taking black and white children and having them lead this integrated life on a wheel, which is saying, one day our children are gonna work this out. On Maryland's Eastern Shore, Scott Rensberger, WUSA 9 News.